Hey, you've got questions and I've got answers. Okay, so I had someone asked me a prospective client was wondering about this particular web page. So you can see we've got a, uh, a sales page here. Long form copy, you've got a video in the middle of it selling one product, which is always a good a good way to sell a single product like this is to do uh, long form. It's not hugely long form. It's actually kind of short, but you get the idea. It is a landing page. And as you can see here in this little blurb, it does say advertorial. As you can see up here in the URL, get photo stick. Um, it is a basically a branded URL. So this company has dedicated this landing page to just this one product. So perfect uh, type of product for promoting with a direct response ad. Now you might notice here these little things popping up in the lower left. And uh, that is what this person, business owner with an actually similar kind of a product was wondering about. What are these things? And um, his question to me, pull out my little sheet here so we can uh, kind of go through this together, was um, he was wondering if these little notices that pop up uh, are those, what are those? Are those real customers? Are there really that many people, are people buying these one every minute or it looks like maybe one every few seconds? <laughs> and uh, so the answer to that question is um, probably not. Uh, it's, that is the result of an app that um, is basically aggregating the customer data. Okay, so in other words, people are purchasing this product or may be purchasing this product and uh, then that data is gathered and posted right here. So it says here, someone from Brandon, Florida just purchased the photo stick, okay? Um, and so that is kind of really where that's coming from. Did, is that real time? Did that person from Brandon, Florida, or whatever that was, did they really purchase it right at that particular moment? Probably not. Uh, there's a number of these kind of um, programs, apps, whatever you want to call them, plugins, widgets, gadgets, that uh, will create these little pop-ups um, based on how they're programmed, right? So uh, is each one of these little messages triggered by an actual sale? in real time? Probably not in real time. Are they triggered by an actual sale at all? Possibly, but I suppose it is very believable that a marketer could, let's say, not necessarily that you'd want to do this or that I'm recommending it, but you could pre-populate uh, that app with imaginary, let's say, customers, okay? So um, are those real? Are those real customers? Are those real sales? Well, maybe. Um, in all likelihood, it could be something that was created just to uh, create an effect. So what effect is it creating? And again, I'm going back to the question here um, from, from uh, this person who was wondering about this. Obviously, it's creating a little bit of urgency um, and a sense of social proof, right? So the, so the urgency part, you know, that's maybe a little bit hard to connect. Um, it, it's probably more along the lines that uh, you see people buying it and, you know, there's just this, this sort of sense that, hey, boy, if everybody else is buying it, I, I hope I can get in before it runs out type of thing, maybe. Um, but I think the main thing is it provides a sense of social proof that, hey, this is for real, people really are buying it. And it's one of the problems with a web page, when it's a static web page, you don't have the same effect where, you know, let's say you're in a store or, you know, if you've ever been in, uh, you know, standing in line for a movie ticket or, you know, an Apple iPhone, something like that, Harry Potter book, whatever, you know, you're waiting for that moment and you can see all these people in front of you, you know, it creates a, a social reality that um, gives you the feeling that, yeah, I got to have one. I mean, it's a, you know, you've already, it helps you make that decision, right? So it creates that kind of an effect and that's, that's why they do it. Is that tactic effective? Well, 
Um, from everything I've heard, the answer is resoundingly yes. Now, I think it does depend on what kind of a product you're selling. Um, some products, I think it works better um, for than others. Things like this, uh, it's an excellent um, way to go. Something where it's a more uh, contemplated type of sale where you kind of have to think about it, learn more about it, you know, let's say uh, legal services or um, let's say, uh, you know, maybe you're thinking about landscaping your home or something, you know, those those are not such sort of snap decisions. And I don't think they would be quite as effective if you saw these little pop ups saying people have just purchased something that cost tens of thousands of dollars, for instance. So um, could it work for your website? Yeah, possibly. Uh, depends on your product, depends on what your offering is. And uh, also, if you have some real legitimate customers that you'd like to let um, your audience, your market know about, it could be a really good way to go. So if you'd like help with any of that um, or to get more information like this, uh, be sure to come back here to strategiccopy.com uh, where we help you grow your revenues with copy that sells. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.